Greetings. Welcome to my channel, Spiritual Regina, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Gina. Today I have for you guys your next seven to ten days in love, career, and finances. We have Pal One, Pal Two, Pal Three. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and that you also follow me on Instagram at Spiritual Regina. I'm going to go ahead and get into your readings. Hello, namaste. This will be for if you chose love. This will be your next seven to ten days in love. Um, so your first card here out is creativity. So this is spontaneous growth. You may feel very stagnant in love or you may feel that your um, your love life needs to be up leveled or needs to be um, just like shaken up a bit. And so here we have the beautiful Empress card, creativity. And so she um, is bringing with her spontaneous energy. Um, so maybe if you are in a partnership, you should um, do a spontaneous activity this week to kind of reinvigorate the relationship because maybe it has gotten so routine. And if you are not in a relationship, this is the perfect opportunity, to, opportunity excuse me, to do something creative, to do something spontaneous, to do something cre creative and possibly um, attracting in a partnership, but not doing this activity or this spo spontaneous activity because you want a partnership, but just doing it for the sake of doing it, doing it with no um, attachments, basically. All right, so your current situation is Ace of Cups, current challenge, strength, current outcome. Wow, beautiful, the world, and the perfect position. All right, so again, I'm seeing the same energy here. I'm seeing that there's something in your relationship to be overcome here. It's... um. I think I'm seeing here just more so of a commitment in your current relationship, possibly stepping into marriage, possibly stepping into a family here. I'm seeing here like an up leveling of sorts. Um, a birth, definitely for sure, like new birth happening. And also overcoming, overcoming difficulties in this relationship as well. I'm seeing this as a beautiful auspice auspicious message that your current relationship is moving forward in a beautiful direction um perhaps towards marriage because we have here the world card or perhaps towards a family something that creates a sense of completeness a sense of wholeness so this could even be just from like i don't know it's different for everyone you know but i know for me my sense of completeness and my sense of wholeness comes from well will hopefully come from marriage itself and also a family. So very beautiful cards here in love this week. We have here some spontaneous energy here again. Um, and interacting with these cards, the Empress interacting with all of these cards, is like explosive energy that, or explosive prana, explosive um, interaction here that will lead to a new beginning. A completion a fulfillment but also a new beginning as well and again i'm just seeing marriage proposal possibly a family as well all right so please love clarify love next seven to ten days but so very beautiful cards here All right, so here we have metamorphosis, exactly what I was seeing, like just really um, moving forward in this relationship, moving towards what you want and knowing that this is a soul mate relationship, all right? So <clears throat> moving forward towards what you want, especially if it is in your heart's inclinations, always following your own intuitive advice, always following your own intuitive voice internally. All right, there may be some healing that needs to be done before this can come into full realization. We have big dreams here. So you understanding that you do have big dreams. We have offer here as well, possibly following through with an offer that you are unsure about. And we have shadow work here as well. So interacting with your shadow. Um, and then for your last card of advice here, we have, ex this is what I was saying. You have a deep intuitive knowing that you are pursuing or that you will follow so just keeping that in mind following your intuitive nudges and you know it's your intuition because it comes from a very quiet um place it wants only the best for you it's very gentle and i'm being called here because i have all of my decks all right i'm just going to lift the camera up really slowly 
but I'm, I am in a new location. So this is literally like all my decks here. I absolutely love it. All right, but back in the saddle. <clears throat> I will do one more card here, and this one more card of action, perhaps, one, one advice, action, advice for action to take in love, advice for action to take in love. we have victory yeah so you are victorious in whatever situation that you are in and we even have angel of love present here as well all right so thank you so much for watching part once if you like this reading you can like comment subscribe and i hope you find it to be helpful thank you so much for watching namaste hello namaste this will be for if you chose part two career this would be your next seven to ten days in career so your first card starting out here we have the Eight of Pentacles called Ordinariness in this one. So this is about focus, focusing on the everyday, the everyday tasks, excuse me, to get you closer to your goals, to get you closer towards what you want. And this does speak of prosperity. It does speak of, especially if you continue at it, if you continue focusing on it, if you continue, if you continue to put good energy into whatever you are doing, you will surely see a reward is what this card is about, in my opinion. All right, so now in the next seven to 10 days, we have the Four of Pentacles in reversed here. Interesting. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Bull here. I'm seeing here that it's interesting because your overall advice here is to, like, to do cookie cutter things to to act towards your goal or to get the goal that you want. But here I'm seeing that it's almost like you need to be more spontaneous as well. So maybe you found yourself stuck in a certain routine around what you do. So this, I think this is talking about a small change towards your goal. So it's possibly changing the space that you're in when you're creating. I know for me personally, I recently switched um, my tarot room into my actual room in my house which is my sun room, and I do feel more comfortable in here. So possibly just making a small change like that in your workspace, but continuing at your dreams in a very carefree, um, like understanding that the universe um, is with you on whatever you are doing here. So you are needing to continue at it, basically continue with your spontaneous energy, with your creative energy, continue, continuing to apply um, your efforts into what you're doing, but from from a more creative slash spontaneous place, possibly. Overall, very beautiful energy. You may have trouble with this creative change, but knowing that it will create more um, energy, more prana around what you're doing. I'm sensing someone who's unsure, someone who has a little bit of fear, a little bit of doubt, who's possibly a little bit scared as well. Because you're really wanting whatever this is to work out. Um, continuing at it, they're saying. I'm just seeing almost like a new injection of energy. And whatever it is that you're doing. Um, like just more energy, more prana, more, more enthusiasm as well for what you're doing. You have yin in here. Yeah, I was saying enthusiasm, and like when you're in union, you're enthusiastic, you know? And then we have here healing. So basically the same cards, you know? Um, and whatever the situation is, possibly doing some healing work around it. Um, that fear, the scarcity mindset as well, that just came to mind. Um, taking baby steps towards your goals. We have mute, offer, fresh start. There's a fresh start waiting for you. You just have to reach out and grab it, basically. And again, I'm seeing this as like almost like a refresher course or like refreshing what's already there, building upon what's already there. Um, and then your card advice here is poised. 
I'm going to read from the deck here. 48. Being ready, bringing something to light, being at your best, confidence. So, yeah. Um, thank you so much. I'm just going to leave it at here. Like, comment, subscribe if you like this reading. And I will see you guys again soon. Namaste. Hello, namaste. Welcome to your readings, Paul 3. So this is before if you chose finances. This would be your next 7 to 10 days in finances. So your overall energy here is the Four of Wands. So this is living in what you are doing living living in your blessings basically so i don't know if this is a point that you ha you have already reached but i am sensing that this is where you want to be you want to be you want to be participating in your manifestations you want to be, be participating in the windfalls and also the um ramifications or the the um, outcome of your manifestations as well so very active card here even though it is the four <clears throat> Current situation in finances. We have here the Pope. Current challenge, the seven of um, so using your assets for your advantage, seven of swords here. Outcome, we have the star, and we have an extra card here with action to take, following your heart. So I'm seeing someone here who is definitely committed to their journey, definitely committed to up leveling where they're at but still having facing confidence issues facing issues around really believing that they could do what they're setting out to do understanding i feel like this death card is for you guys really oh wow see understanding that now is a time of ascension for you and your finances so writing out first knowing what you can offer the world and cap capitalizing <clears throat> on your gifts capitalizing on your assets, capitalizing on what you bring to the world, you know, and, <clears throat> excuse me, moving forward from there and understanding that if you are following your heart, you will be, you will be successful. You will have all of your wishes fulfilled. You will have divine guidance and divine clarity and also divine assistance as well. This is the, this is like the other side of the divine, divinity out there of the Prada, the Chi, the energy that runs our universe, they're saying here that they're saying here that you need to stay committed to what you're doing and knowing your strengths and weaknesses and capitalizing on that when it comes to your finances. And if you feel insuff insufficient, if you feel weak or like not worthy enough, bolstering up your um your 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 confidence, basically building your confidence. Ascending into who you want to be. But I, I feel like you're on the right path whenever it comes to your finances. Definitely on the right path. You're definitely doing what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, Alright, so your card here is a like, <laughs> literally assistance from the universe. Literally. They're saying, oh, I'm, I need to clarify actually, but... They're saying here that you are assisted by the universe and the universe has you back. Please clarify the, uh, the, the Pope, Seven of Swords, the Star, six, uh, the Lover, Something. We have here Shadow Work. Exactly, knowing your assets, your talents, your weaknesses, knowing who you are, getting into touch with even your, um, what you consider to be not your so good not your best side getting into touch with even your weaknesses basically is what i'm trying to say there and we have ascending i said that literally out of mouth and we have forgiveness with regret interesting so something in the past may be holding you back you may be giving your energy away we have return here so calling your energy back from all situations especially if something ended badly when it comes to finances, I know just calling your energy back when it comes to finances, establishing, establishing what finances mean to you, what wealth means to you, um, rewiring your inner programming around finances, around money, all right? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this to be helpful. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys again soon. Namaste and have a beautiful next 11 to 10 days.